that's a tough one. You know, I've been doing research for many years. Um, first, let me sort of put in perspective the kind of research I do, because there's lots of kinds. So number one, uh, I do translational research. And what that means is that I go and read scientific uh, refereed journals on learning, memory, and instruction. And I translate that, making practical recommendations for trainers, instructional designers, e-learning developers, etc. Um, so interesting. Uh, well, uh, over the years, um, one of the things that's interesting is that we used to think that immediate feedback was best. And uh, a lot of recent research suggests that actually delayed feedback is better. Um, learning objectives. So uh, we often present learning objectives to our learners. We could call them focusing object objectives because what they do is they help the learners uh, focus on the most important aspects of the learning material. Well, we don't do that very well. We write those in the wrong way. Um, we're not specific enough. And we often try to use the Mager uh, method of writing our objectives. And that's great for us as instructional designers, but pro 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 providing those right to the learners um, has been shown to be ineffective. Um, another thing is that you know we often try to focus on helping our learners learn. But we also, and we often forget this, we also need to help our learners remember. We have to help them minimize forgetting. So there's a whole bunch of things that um, go into this. latest research? Um, well, you know, I've been having a blast doing research on creativity. And um, you're probably wondering, well, why is a learning guy looking at creativity? The, um, a year ago, I had this insight that there's really maybe two kinds of learning. Or we can at least separate the world, simplify the world into two types of learning. One is we can call transfer learning. And that's when we transfer information from a trainer to a bunch of learners, from an e-learning program to a bunch of learners. And the transfer is obvious, right? We're transferring the information. But another type of learning is what I'm going to call insight learning. And that's when um, a person has an insight. And they, when they have that insight, they learn about something that they hadn't thought about before. And then that gets stored in long-term memory. So if you think about this from a cognitive architecture perspective, you've got um, transfer learning where we're taking a concept in whole into working memory and then putting it into long-term memory. But insight learning is when there's uh, two pieces of information floating around working memory and they get linked. And then we um, process that and put it into long-term memory. So the research on creativity tells us a lot about this kind of process, so I've been having fun uh, looking at that. Um, other kinds of research I've been working on, uh, how to prevent female turnover, um, looking at uh, onboarding, the onboarding research, which is pretty fascinating, a lot of recent stuff on that, uh, peer feedback, and of course I'm always uh, dipping my toes into the fundamental learning research as well.